This is Boo's breakfast today. He's getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. He's getting a little bit of wheatgrass. He's getting his herbs and he's getting some water. And these are the herbs he's getting, the multi-essentials, the Felim, and the BK Detox. So Boo had a free roam last night. He was allowed to roam the house all night and he ended up just sleeping on the bed all night, so. But before he slept on the bed, he did play, and then he played a little bit this morning also, so that's good. But Boo just pretty much likes being wherever I am, just hanging out. Boo's eating his food. Those herbal drops have had no effect um, as to whether he eats his food or not. Some people like to think herbal drops will make a cat not want to eat their food, but I have not found that to be the case. Okay, Boo is in his room, and the other two cats have come running upstairs because they want to eat. And there's Splash. Good morning, Splash. Simba was looking at the cat grass on the window, so I'm going to take it down before he jumps on the counter. I don't allow cats to jump on my kitchen counters. I don't like cats jumping on tables. So they don't jump on the kitchen table or the dining room table. I don't even like them jumping on like end tables in the living room or anything. I don't mind if they jump on like a uh, sofa to sit on it or the bed. Um, I just, I don't like them on tables or kitchen counters or anywhere food might be. Look how they crush the grass. Do you see all the crushed grass around the edge? They like to eat around the edge and you know, they just kind of mangle it and crush it when they eat it. This is a first. They must really be hungry because Stella is trying to get on the counter. What are you guys doing? So the cats are getting the same thing that Boo got. Um, and they're even gonna get the herbal drops today. They're not getting a full dose of the herbal drops. I gave them two of each formula, just for tonic purposes, to tone and strengthen. I also forgot that uh, yesterday, I opened a new bag and it was the rabbit nuggets, because when I went to Petco, that was like one of the only good bags that they had. So this is the chicken nuggets, and these are the rabbit nuggets. So, it's gonna be interesting to see if they eat the rabbit nuggets. Splash, there's another plate of food over here. There we go. Three cats on three separate plates of food. Although Splash is kind of going back and forth. Now each plate has you know, a specific serving size and specific dosage of the herbs. So that is the reason why I'm now feeding them on plates versus the one large platter. It's easier to control what they're consuming. Now, of course, I'm saying that making the assumption that they each stick with an individual plate and finish it. There's really no guarantee that that is what they're gonna do, but um, they don't have any dry food and um, I only give them dry food after they eat their wet food. So I want to make sure that they get the good nutrition before they eat the dry food. So Simba was looking at the grass up on the window. I keep it on the window ledge. So I thought maybe he's hungry, so I give him a little bit of dry food. And then I said, well, maybe he wants the grass instead. So I just put them both on this platter and he went straight for the grass. Look. He'd rather eat grass than dry food. At least right now. 10.30 a.m. I just came downstairs and Stella's just sitting here hanging out next to the wheel. She's sitting near that little toy. She likes those wormy type toys. Now she's getting up. Where's Stella? We're gonna hang out. We're just gonna hang out. She's so fluffy. Look how fluffy. Stella has such thick fur 
like when I pet her, she has such thick fur. Whereas like I pet Boo, his fur is not nearly as thick. Sometimes she gets upset if I pet her too much. Like Simba's fur is not as thick as Stella. Stella has really thick fur. What are you doing, Stella? What's the matter? What's wrong? Sometimes I think she doesn't drink enough water. I put water in their food today. And I gave them new water. Sometimes I feel like Stella has some dry mouth. Stella likes sitting next to those warmy toys. I'm not a fan of that toy because um, it's heavy and it's made of like the silicone material that doesn't glide smoothly along the floor. I just put two of Stella's favorite worms on the exercise wheel. One of those worms got vacuumed up by mistake the other day. I'm organizing a bunch of stuff in my laundry room and my downstairs closet and um, one of the things I'm organizing is some of the canned cat food. I still have it in like these boxes and the cases. So I'm putting it on a shelf in the closet for easy access. So I unwrapped the plastic from this box and I put it down because I said, I wonder if Stella would like to lay in the box. And sure enough, next thing I know, I turn around and there's Stella. Cats are so funny. I bought this pack of eyeballs at the Dollar Tree. It's a seven piece set. And to me, they're basically just ping pong balls um, that someone painted eyes on. So let's open up this bag and see if the cats would like to play with these. And this is what they look like. They're basically just a ping pong ball with eyes. I am going to give one to Simba, one to Splash, and one to Stella. Let's see if they play with it. And then I think I'll put these in Boo's grass box and see if he could get them out. It might be more difficult for him to get them out since they're very smooth balls. You know, they don't have anything for him to really hook his claws into. Simba's checking out the eyeball. Whoop. These eyeballs are going to be lost so fast. Here comes Stella. They ate all their breakfast. Here. Here. So Stella would rather sit in her box. Look, Simba, I got another eyeball. Look, Simba, I got another eyeball. Look. I got another eyeball. Want it? Where's the eyeball? Where is it? There it is. Simba, you gonna play with the eyeball? Whose eyeball is that? Simba, is that your eyeball? He's purring. So there's Boo's grassy box, and uh, here are the eyeballs. I'm gonna put the eyeballs in the box. Okay, so I put three eyeballs in the box, and the fourth one is just rolling around the room somewhere. The question is, will he play with those? Are you gonna try to get those balls out? It is 12 noon. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food. 
This is canned food because I did not see Hydrox here. He has not been here, but now he's here. He is laying in the bushes. I am going back inside to get him his raw food, which I have defrosted in the refrigerator. So um, I'm going to add it to this plate. Guys, so I did not have the camera with me, but I just saw Hydrox at the door touching noses with Simba through the glass. I was shocked. Never seen that before. But I have to say, when um, all the cats were living outside, Simba used to like to eat with Hydrax. Like, Simba would leave uh, the party platter that, like, Stella, Splash, and Boo were eating off of, and Simba would go and, like, eat out of Hydrax's bowls. So, um... You know, now that I'm saying that, it's making me realize that I'm really thinking Boo would be negative for feline leukemia because, you know, as of last summer, all these cats were outside sharing dishes and bowls with Hydrox. And um, we know that Stella and Simba are negative for feline leukemia. So chances are really good that Boo's negative for feline leukemia also. I mean, he already tested negative for feline leukemia, and the only way that he would test positive for it is if in the 60 days before he was last tested, he came into contact with a cat that had feline leukemia, and it was spread through the ways that feline leukemia is spread, like if he shared... Um, dishes or bowls or um, there was an exchange of saliva or if they groomed each other. I think the chances are very slim that that happened just because I mean I don't see a whole lot of feral cats outside anymore other than Hydrox. Um, all the others seem to have been taken in by various neighbors. I know there's a house like three or four houses down um, that has taken in some of the gray and white ones. I've seen them like on the porch of that house. Um, and in the doorway and stuff. So, um, here's Hydrox's food. I'm going to take it out to him. Move over, Simba. Move over, Simba. Move over. Come on, I gotta go out. Move over. Move over. Simba, move over. I'm sitting here on the step because I want to see if he'll walk across. But look, look at his tail. It's almost up. So right now, I don't know, I'm probably sitting around eight feet away from him. And that's good, he's not so scared of me that he's not eating. And um, so half the plate is wet food and half the plate is the raw food. And the raw food was in the refrigerator so it's slightly cold. And I did add some warm water to his food. But he's going for the canned food right now, which is fine. If he doesn't eat the raw food, then the birds will eat it. I mean, that's a horrible thing to say, but hopefully he'll eat it. And there's Boo watching from his window. Hey, Boo! It is time to open this week's mail. Let's see what we got. That's a tall pile of mail. We got a 64 gigabyte SD card for the camera. This is so awesome. I go through uh, SD cards really fast um, and I'm shooting off of two cameras. Um, one camera that I have is using a 64 SD card now and the other camera is only using a 32 gigabyte SD card. So it'll be really great to um, upgrade that one to a 64 gig. Uh, so um, this is awesome. It says, hi Lucky Ferals, this SD card has a faster file transfer rate than the Ultra version which saves time. It also features Rescue Pro Deluxe Data Recovery Software which can recover accidentally deleted files from Sean Paul. Thank you so much Sean Paul. Um, I definitely appreciate um, the SD card.
here we have the Bench and Field Holistic Natural Cat Treats. The cats love these treats. They just finished uh, the first bottle of treats a few days ago. They're on their second bottle of treats, and I am positive that they'll love these also. This says, Hi Lucky Ferals, don't let Stella and Simba steal these treats from Splash, from Sean Paul. Thank you, Sean Paul. I will definitely try not to have uh, them steal it from Splash. Splash deserves his treat. I try to sneak some extra treats to Splash all the time. We have two Whole Foods gift cards for $25 each. That is so awesome. It says, hello, Lucky Ferals. Use these gift cards to buy healthy food for you and or the cats from Sean Paul. Thank you so much, Sean Paul. These will definitely be put to good use. I use Whole Foods a lot, um, like other people use fast food. You know, if I've had a really long day and I just want to pick up something fast for dinner, um, I like the selection of pre-made food that they have at Whole Foods, uh, you know, better than going to like Burger King or McDonald's or Wendy's or anything. So thank you very much. We have another $25 gift card to Whole Foods. That is awesome. How many times can I say awesome in one video? It says, hi Lucky Ferals with love from Singapore. Hope you and the cats enjoy what I got for you. Well, thank you so much. Um, I will definitely enjoy using this gift card. And here we have a card to the Lucky Ferals. It says, every single day, do something that makes your heart sing, Marsha, wider. Dear beloved one, thank you for all you do. You are making a difference in so many ways. Love, Donna. Thank you so much, Donna. That is so appreciated. That will go into a special bank account for the cats um, in their name. And um, right now, I'm building up an emergency fund for them. So in case there are any emergency vet bills, then um, those will be covered. So uh, thank you so much for the contribution. It looks like an Amazon logo. Oh, it's an Amazon gift card for $10. Very cool. I could use that on anything that I want on Amazon, which is always convenient in case I'm running low on some cat supplies. Does that, does that go back? Yeah, there we go. And there's another one. And we have another $10 gift card to Amazon. Very, very useful, and uh, both of these will definitely come in handy. Hi Lucky, enjoy your gift. My cat got onto my PC and wanted to send you a gift. She's very clever that way. From Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff the cat. Yes, she certainly is very clever that way. Thank you so much uh, Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff for uh, these gift cards. Um, they'll definitely uh, be helpful. What do we have here? Oh, look at this cat. It's a black cat. It looks a lot like Boo. Look how cute. And this looks like Boo also. Really cute Halloween towels. Adorable. Life's better with a cat. And this looks just like Boo. That's a really cute magnet. And check out this keychain. You guys see that? It's a black cat. It looks like Boo. So cute. And then there's, I mean, I'm not 100% sure what this is. It looks like it's a necklace. Let's see what it says. Does it say something? It says Boo. And there's Boo right there in the window. Wow. So we have a Dollar Tree gift card, two $10 gift cards to PetSmart, and a $25 gift card to Petco. That is really awesome. That's very, very thoughtful. And um, then we have a card. Well, the card says, now that Halloween is here, 
Boo can be a kind of cheer, a ghostly little way to say, have a special spooky day, happy Halloween. It says, Dear Lady LF, Ra Ra Sis Boo Ba, Thank you for sharing your cats and your kind heart with us who have grown to love Boo, Stella, Simba, Splash, and Hydrax, and who learned so much by your fine example. I wish this could be more, but here's a little something for your clouder. I also couldn't resist a few little images of Boo as tokens of my esteem, and since you love Halloween, I included a handcrafted Kumihimo necklace in the colors of the season made just for you. Oh, that's what this is. Oh, that's really cool. I thought it was like a necklace. Take good care of yourself, dear lady, as you do with your beloved cats. From one native New Yorker to another, all love, light, peace, and joy to you and your dear kitties from your friend, Sierra Barboni and Tarbell. P.S. Tarbell insists that she and Boo are related and included her picture to prove it. This is Tarbell, and yes, she definitely looks like her and Boo are related. I think they're probably cousins, right? Thank you so much uh, for this gift package. That's uh, really nice of you uh, to send that. Um, everything will be put uh, to good use. And um, yeah, I love uh, those black cat items. Very, very cute. What do we have here? This says, hi Lucky, this is just a little goodie to cheer you on from Southern California with Grace Bryn. Look how cute, it says, let's get this party started right meow. And then there's this towel, it says cat wisdom. Purr softly, have a mind of your own. Take time to play, explore the possibilities. Stay well groomed, never cry over spilled milk. Be spontaneous, when you find sunshine, bask in it. Know who you are and act accordingly. Love unconditionally. That is so cute and I've never seen this before ever. That is adorable. That's so nice, like I wanna like hang that up or frame it. And then there's this towel with all of the uh, black cat silhouettes. Really cute towels. Thank you so much for the towels. These are really cute. Okay, so someone sent a bag of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Boost Mixers. Uh, the cats love these. When I forget to defrost um, the frozen raw food, I give these to them. Also, if I'm going away for the day or overnight, um, I'll put these in the automatic feeder. Um, they love these, so thank you to whoever sent these. This is the only slip of paper that was in here. Yeah, there's, there's no other slips of paper, so um, I don't know who sent it. Okay, then we have this one. That's a pretty reasonable bag. And then here we have a, uh, a box set. It says Kleben in a box. And these are books. It says never eat anything bigger than your head and other drawings. Whack your porcupine and other drawings by B. Kleben. And it says cat. A small, lithe, soft-furred animal domesticated since ancient times and often kept as a pet or for killing mice. Oh, these are really cute. Look at all the little cat cartoons. Percy cat. 
cat words. How to draw a cat. This awesome set of vintage books is from Wagmore, um, but they asked me not to uh, read the cards on camera. So uh, thank you so much, Wagmore. That was very nice of you. We have the Lost Art of Reading Nature Signs. Use outdoor clues to find your way, predict the weather, locate water, track animals, and other forgotten skills by Tristan Gooley. It says, turn every walk into a game of detection. When writer and navigator Tristan Gooley journeys outside, he sees a natural world filled with clues. The roots of a tree indicate the sun's direction. The Big Dipper tells the time, a passing butterfly hints at the weather, a sand dune reveals prevailing wind, the scent of cinnamon suggests altitude, a budding flower points south. To help you understand nature as he does, Ghoulie shares more than 850 tips for forecasting, tracking, and more, gathered from decades spent walking the landscape around his home and around the world. Whether you're walking in the country or city, along a coastline, or by night, this is the ultimate resource for what the land, sun, moon, stars, plants, animals, and clouds can reveal if you only know how to look. I saw this book online and I thought it was really, really interesting. It's also very highly rated. And um, yeah, I'm really big into uh, you know observation and uh, paying attention to small details. Um, you know, with the behavior of cats, with the behavior of animals, you know, with the plant life that you see, um, and stuff like that. There's so much information in the world around us that most people are just completely unaware of. Um, so it's, it's really nice to, um, you know, self-educate yourself on that kind of stuff. So, uh, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to reading this. And then we got the Wheatgrass book, How to Grow and Use Wheatgrass to Maximize Your Health and Vitality by Anne Wigmore. This says, from health food stores to juice bars, wheatgrass has rapidly become one of the most widely used natural foods. Loaded with the natural vitamins, chlorophyll, and enzymes that feed your cells and help rid them of toxins, wheatgrass is perfect for those seeking to create and maintain a healthy lifestyle. In the Wheatgrass book, nutritionist Anne Wigmore explains everything you need to know about growing, eating, and reaping the many benefits of wheatgrass. By adding wheatgrass to your diet, you can improve your complexion and cleanse the body, gain energy and strength, increase your metabolism, get the vitamins and minerals essential for optimal health, and more, quick, more quickly heal various ailments and illnesses. The guide also features information on how to grow wheatgrass, as well as easy to follow recipes on how to make the best tasting wheatgrass juice. A trusted and celebrated source from a pioneer of natural health, the Wheatgrass Book gives you all the information you need about wheatgrass and its benefits. So, I would like to grow my own wheatgrass and at least keep better care of the wheatgrass that I buy and um, just learn more about wheatgrass. And of course, you know, wheatgrass is catgrass. Um, catgrass is also like oatgrass or, or barley grass. So um, I'm sure a lot of the information in this book not only pertains to wheatgrass, but it would also pertain to those other kinds of grasses also. So um, yeah, these would be great. This is Hi Lucky, enjoy your gift from Zach Odell. Well, thank you so much, Zach. I will definitely um, enjoy reading those two books. This is Hi Lucky, enjoy your gift. I love your channel from Kim Hutchins. This is a 10 stage Enviro filter, maximum protection, filters chlorine, trihalomethanes, organic arsenic and mercury, lead, cysts, floating solids, pesticides, herbicides, and it is bacteriostatic. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Kim. Um, I had seen this in uh, my local Whole Foods, um, but every time I see it on the shelf, they're pretty much sold out of it, and uh, the price there is double what it was on Amazon. So, um, yeah, this looks great. This says, um, 10 stages of filtration to help protect you all year. Inside the 10-stage cartridge, stage 1, a 30-micron filter pad. Stage 2, 8 ounces of KDF-55. This is a patented alloy that removes free chlorine and some heavy metals. Stage 3, a 10-micron filter pad. Stage 4... 
30 cubic inches of ultra-fine mesh coconut shell activated carbon. Stage 5, a 10 micron filter pad. Stage 6, 1.3 ounce of cation exchange resin. Stage 7, a 30 micron filter pad. Stage 8, 3.5 ounces of ultra-fine GAC. Stage 9, 2 ounces of calcite. Stage 10, a 1 micron polishing filter. I'm not reading all the little tiny print because um, there's a lot to read there. Uh, it says you'll have an instant supply of fresh filtered water all year long. A constant flow of filtered water all you want, anytime you want. It says no plumbing is required. It attaches to standard faucets in seconds or you can easily convert it to an under sink installation with our Enviro conversion kit. Safer, cleaner, better tasting water is important for more than just drinking. Treat your pets to clean, good tasting water. Give all your furry friends a happy, aesthetic, chlorine free home. Make your coffee, tea, and juice drinks safe and better tasting. Boiling alone can help make your water safer, but it doesn't remove the odor and taste of chlorine. All your cooking will benefit from clean, fresh, 10 stage water. The ideal way to rinse away pesticides and contaminants from all your fresh produce, perfect for cooking pasta. Chlorine kills bacteria both bad and good, meaning it kills the beneficial bacteria in the intestinal tract. Enhance your probiotic program. Let your good bacteria live by filtering out harmful chlorine. Compact design with powerful results. There are hundreds of gallons of fresh tasting water in every 10 stage filter. No need to worry about running out of filtered water for you and your family. No longer need to buy expensive disposable water bottles. Great for the environment and your wallet. So I can't wait to hook this up and uh, use this. Thank you so much. It says, hi Lucky Ferals with love from Singapore. Hope you and the cats enjoy what I got for you. We got a bag of the Nature's Variety Raw Boost Mixers. Awesome. Love having these on hand for the cats and right now I'm down to like half of a bag so uh, this will be great to have these on hand. Boo got a new Smarty Cat Frisky Flyer. This is great because he's on his second one of these right now and half the feathers are gone. So um, yeah, I'll be replacing that soon with this. Thank you so much. I got a container of my favorite green powder. This is the Amazing Grass, Amazing Trio. Barley grass, wheat grass, and alfalfa. Um, I give this to the cats uh, in their food sometimes, and I also uh, put this in my smoothies. This is really great for humans and uh, animals. And then here we have uh, individual packets instead of the uh, larger tub. So I like taking these with me, like if I'm traveling, if I'm going uh, away for a weekend or overnight somewhere, uh, these are great to bring with me. Thank you. Oh look, two more containers of the Bench and Field Holistic uh, Feline Treats. Thank you so much. These treats are fairly large for cat treats. I don't know if you can see through uh, the container how large they are. So um, one of these bottles might last um, like a week with these cats. So right now um, with uh, these four uh, bottles of treats, uh, this is probably like a month supply, maybe six weeks. I would say maybe four to six weeks, so that's awesome, so I don't have to run out and buy those. Thank you guys so much. Very cute. It's like a keychain. You guys see the cats? See the cat fabric? Isn't that adorable fabric? Look at this one. See this one with the cats on it? Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's upside down. There you go. Really cute with the little black cats, white cats. And then this is a pot holder. Look at the black cats. And here we have like little quilts for the cats. And uh, these have cats on them. Do you guys see the cats? See the cat designs on the quilted squares? Look how cute. Cats, cats. It's 
really soft. These are so soft. These are adorable. This is Lucky Farrell's mom. Hi Lucky Farrell's. I enjoy making cat related things. The two mats are supposed to be crinkly looking and will shrink a little when washed to make them more cuddly. I love your videos. Sharon and Kitty's Pumpkin and Sunday. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Sharon, Pumpkin, and Sunday. These are adorable. These are really adorable items. I'm going to put this in my kitchen, and uh, I'm going to use these. Yeah, I know they're going to really like them. Thank you so much. That's a lot of work that goes into that. So uh, you're very, very talented. It takes a lot of talent to make those. And that's such cute fabrics that you use in all of these. Um, I've never seen a lot of these uh, cat fabrics before. What a great job, really nice job. Thank you. This is High Lucky Gift for Boo from Kimberly and Tinkerbell. Check it out, Boo has another arch. He's gonna love it. We were just talking in the chat room yesterday about uh, Boo having multiple arches. That's awesome. I'm gonna definitely uh, put that in his room and uh, see how he likes it. So thank you so much, Kimberly and Tinkerbell. Um, that's really cool. This last and final box is really big. This is a 56 pound box. The side of it says Go Pet Club. It says Cat Scratcher Cottage. And then if you see this here, right here, it looks like a huge giant cat tree. Not 100% certain that that is actually what's in the box because sometimes boxes are used for different things. So uh, let's open this up and let's see what's in the box. It is a cat scratcher giant condo. Look at this. Wow, this is big. It looks like that there's like three top tiers to this, which means uh, Stella, Splash, and Simba would all get a top tier since we know cats love sleeping on the top. So here are all of the individual pieces of this cat condo. Um, it needs to be assembled. I should be able to have this assembled uh, later today. Here's a box. It does not have any information inside the box as to who sent this to me though. So I don't know who sent this. Well, thank you very much to whoever it is that sent this uh, cat scratcher cottage to the cats. That was really, really nice of you to do that. Um, but there's no name on the box or attached to it. So um, I don't know who you are. Um, but thank you. This will be awesome. I think the cats are really going to like it. I just gave Boo his second arch. So these arches are actually slightly different from each other. Um, the arch shape is slightly different. Like this is a rounder arch shape and this one um, is like straighter. And then the bristles, um, the uh, bristle wrap on this one is different than how the bristles are kind of wrapped around the wire. And then um, where these arches, um, where these arches meet the base, this one does not need any plastic caps or anything and it's in there tight. Whereas where this arch meets the base, it definitely needed, um, you know, a plastic cap or double-sided tape so it would stay in the base. So um, it's the same product, but it's like different parts. But Boo already loves it. Look at that. He's in heaven. Boo is in heaven. He has not just one arch. He has two arches. Meanwhile, Boo has been closed in this room for like the past, I would say, five hours. And right now the door to this room is wide open. He could walk anywhere around the house that he wants to walk. And instead of roaming, he just wants to lay in his new arch. Boo, do you like your new arch? Oh, look at that. Yep, he likes that. Boo approved. See how the arch shapes are different? This one is more like a horseshoe shape. Look. 
He's already using it. He knows exactly what to do with it. I think Boo likes the arches now a lot more than he, he likes brushes. Because he's getting spoiled with the arches. He could brush himself anytime he wants. You know, these arches, they're like black, like a black cat also. Maybe he thinks they're like feline. Now I did not put any catnip on this. There was a little bag of catnip in the box, but um, I didn't put any catnip on here. So maybe that is, he's just getting some re residual smell off of that. He just wants to lay under his arch. He's in love with the arch. Yeah, look, he just wants to lay under the arch. Okay, Boo, I'll let you lay under your arch. I have these brown um, velvet-like uh, swivel chairs in my living room, and I've had this brown fleece material over the seats, the seat cushion, um, because the cats sometimes like to lay on these chairs, and it's really hard to get fur off of the material that these chairs are made out of. And uh, look, look at these quilted mats. They're like a perfect fit for the seat of this chair. I mean, it could not be a more perfect fit for the seat of this chair. Look at that. It's like perfect. So I think I am going to use these on these chairs right now. I mean, they're really colorful and cute, so why not, right? There's Boo in his arch. Seven eleven p.m. Stella's the only one eating dinner. The other cats are hiding. And look, she's on her third plate. She's eaten two of the meals so far. Looks like she's just eating all the instinct bites. And she's leaving the primal nuggets for Simba and Splash. Thank you.